all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Russ here from Porky's Corner, the biggest gob in sport. We say the things on here that nobody dares say. A uh, couple of shout outs before we start. Porky's International, that's our other channel. Feel free to jump over there and give it a little subscribe and have a little watch. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment in comment section. And Racers Now, which is Smidow's channel about horse racing. Uh, he knows his stuff, Smidow, on all that game. Right. Tyson Fury, Usek rematch. Fury says he's going to fill him in. I still believes he won that fight. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. That is insane. But he actually thinks that he won that fight. I can't. How could he actually think that he won that? On what on what grounds? What proof has Tyson Fury got that he beat Usyk? Usyk outlanded him in the rounds he, he beat him in. Fury won three rounds of that fight. Three rounds. I don't think anybody's took more than three rounds off Usyk, have they? Since the uh, final of the of the 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 tournament that WBSS tournament, right? Where he fought in final, I think he, I think he lost four rounds in that final. Nobody's took more than three rounds of him in a fight. People can keep going on and on and on about the Daniel Dubois carry on. The referee gave it as a low blow, didn't he? Don Charles can squeal all he wants. Because he's going to do, because he's done, he's Dubois' trainer, isn't he? He's not going to say it wasn't a low, it, it were a low blow, is he? He's going to say it wasn't. But Fury is still not having it, is he? His own brother told him he got beat. Experts told him he got beat. It's craziness. But the rematch is on, according to Fury, and he's going to be a lot better. He's saying that he's coming out for the knockout. And uh, that's what he's training for. Well, obviously, because he can't do the rounds, can he, no more? So he's probably going to come out swingers. That's what I think he'll do. I think he'll come out swingers and he'll try and take Usek out. Try and take him out early. Uh, catch him cold, so to speak. But I think he's got a tall order there. What about all this chat about if Fury wins, he's going to fight Joshua. And if he loses, he's going to fight Joshua. They're still going to ram that fight down us, aren't they? What if he loses to Dubai when he has his rematch, Joshua? It's all what ifs, what ifs, and what ifs, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Fury's not even fought Usyk a second time yet. I mean, we're still in September, aren't we now? We're still in September. And he fights Usyk 21st of December, so... You know, he's got 31 in October. And then you've got 30, that's 61, and 21. 82 days. 10, 12 week. 10, there's still 11 week till fight week. So, look, it is what it is, isn't it? If he beats him, brilliantly. But I don't think he's going to go for a knockout because if he does, he'll leave his son wide open. I think he'd just be best off using his attributes and keeping him long, trying to pick him off and let Usyk do all work. But that's up to Tyson, whatever game plan they give him. But it's going to be interesting to see what, interesting to see what happens, isn't it? But uh, will he take the fight? I'm still going to say no. That it doesn't happen on that date. That's just what I think. I just don't believe anything from that lot. It's like the boy that cried wolf, isn't he? I don't believe it whatsoever. But we will see, won't we? We will see. But uh, do we wish Tyson? Well, of course we do. He's a Brit, isn't he? He's going to be up against it. And I'm team Usek, me. I just think he's, I think he's like Mozart. You know, he is that good. Commercially viable, no. That's why Eddie Hills got rid of him and Eddie Hills had him. 
Eddie Hills. Hills. That's the one, the 6 and 0 Iceman from Billy Ricky. All my way of. Eddie got rid of Zhang, Olympic silver medalist. He got rid of Rusek. He got rid of Luis Ortez, another Olympian. If you're not commercially viable, it's no good. You're no good Eddie, to Eddie. He signed Zhang and Ortez, didn't he, to keep him away from Joshua. What's the bottom line? They thought they could do the same with Usyk, but he went mandatory route, didn't he? And they had to fight him. But it is what it is. So why is nobody talking about Andy Ruiz at the moment? They all keep talking about these heavyweights in mix, don't they? But there's no for Andy Ruiz. I know Martin Bacoli's uh, probably most avoided fighter at the moment in heavyweight division because he doesn't bring notes to the table. But nobody's talking about Andy Ruiz, are they? Nobody. So, okie dokie. So, thanks for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment. That's it now for September. All done and dusted. 90 videos. Three a day, I said I'd do. I don't know if I'm going to do that this month. I think we might tone it down a little bit. But we're going to see. There's a lot of action on, isn't there, this month. So, we'll see what happens. So, okie dokie. Thanks for giving a big uh, shout out to... Uh, to me the other day, Vaz Blackwood, Rory Breaker out of uh, Lockstock. He also played Lennox, aka the Shadow, in Only Fools and Horses. He's been in other stuff as well. Be nice to get you on, Vaz. Be very nice to get you on the channel via Zoom. We'll have a bit of a giggle, eh? So, but it is what it is. Still waiting for Carl Froch. Carl, what's happening? Don't you be going back on your word. Get me on Frotch on Fighting, I will have you on here. All right? Go on, peace out.